So I had a friend ask me um, the other day, I had posted a video that had a, a real nice dock skip in it. And he asked me how I went about doing that. And the only real advice I had for him was to get real confident with your roll cast and tie you on a lure that uh, will skip well and then just practice, practice, practice. Now, this is not an area where I would skip because of the, the heavy, nasty grass mat uh, on top of the surface. The lure is just not gonna skip. But I would roll cast this area because with an overhand cast, you can't go over top of this tree limb and then retrieve it through the intended area. But we do have an opening right here that we can just kind of roll that lure straight through there. Um, the idea is to dip the rod tip low and cast up and it's a timing issue when you release that lure it's going to stay close to the water and then it's going to kind of start its fall and it's going to allow you to cast up under branches and stuff like this just like that Now, I wish I could guarantee that was going to be a bite, but that's just not possible. Um, what I can guarantee you, though, is if you're able to put that lure in more places, and especially more places than what other anglers are doing, you know, your chances of hooking up become much greater. Try to make one more in there. Got that one a little bit further back in there. And not every day is going to be about catching fish. If you find yourself out here with a given amount of time and the fish just aren't biting, then you work on casting techniques, um, flipping techniques. Maybe you just try out different lures to see you know how the presentation looks but definitely make use of your time on the water especially if you've only if you only have a given amount of time I mean it might be something where you typically throw this frog and hop it across the top of the surface and now you want to learn how to walk the frog so learn how to walk the frog